Hello, welcome to another video. I'm walking up Keswick High Street and I'm on my way to Wild Camp on my own for the first time. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sure you will if you watch it all the way through. If you don't mind, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like these. Thank you. And enjoy. Right, so I've literally just arrived in... Well, I don't know where I am actually, but... um. <clears throat> I've only been walking about half an hour. Um, already I'm absolutely sweating, so it's a really hot day. You can see up there, sun shining, clear skies, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to stop off here, uh, wash my face, uh, let my top dry for 10 20 minutes maybe. I've got, um, got bottles of water there to try and hopefully cool them down a bit so just a nice little stop off but, um, oh it's such a nice day nice little stream um, and then I'll head off see where I end up there we go there's first sight of a lovely view can't complain eh? it's not often you get perfectly clear skies here Some paragliding is it? That'll actually be so much fun. He's just spinning around in circles, having a good time, enjoying the views. So that's um, that's Cat Bells there. That was the way I was gonna go. Um, and then I kind of changed my mind, but it surprisingly looks. You can't see anybody at the top, which is uh, pretty unnormal, especially this sort of weather. Um, so I've came around on the other side of the lake instead. Um, I'll hopefully go around. I might end up, there's a nice river over there behind uh, this hill. I might go around, uh, go up the river, have a swim maybe, if I'm feeling brave. And then I might climb up Cat Bells here and find somewhere to camp around about up here. Yeah, have a look at that for a view, eh? Lovely stuff. So that's, um, that's Skiddle. So if you watch my my video where I climbed up a mountain at night, that's that one. So the top of Skiddle is just there. And then just along from Skiddle is Blancathera, just there. Uh, or you can just see sharp edges of all. You can't really make out the, the ridge of it, actually, sort of. Just, um, sharp edge is just about there. See Bass and Thwaite Lake as well over there, it's gorgeous. Right, so I've been hiking about an hour, been walking about an hour, and look, look at the state of me already. I don't know if I'm sunburned or if I'm just hot, but I am a sweaty mess already. You don't want to see my back, it's uh, not very nice. Anyway, I'll switch, switch the camera and some lovely views. Yeah, so I've just showed that before, and um, that's Skiddle. <coughs> Down here, that, uh, that village, that's Keswick. That's where I just came from. Uh, it's not too far. And then that's the start of Derwent Water. And then it comes all the way around onto the left. So I'm going to be going up this hill. Um, it's also a lot harder hiking with a big massive bag on your back, obviously. But um kind of take for granted without having a big bag, to be fair. It's, uh, it's hard work. And then this heat, it's about 7 o'clock in the evening. And it's still about, um, it's about 23 degrees, I think, still. So it's, um, it's a wee bit spicy, but it is lovely. Hopefully I'll have a nice time. But my plan is to, um, there's a river, could take another hour and a half to get there, really. I'm, I'm hoping I can go for a dip, because I'm going to need to wash myself, really, before I camp and go to sleep, because... I do feel a little bit uh, minging, so, but I think the temperature might drop by the time I get there, so I don't think I'll be going in, but even just a wash, and then maybe I relax for a little bit, have some food, yeah, if there's uh, anything else of interest going on, I'll, uh, I shall get the camera out. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to make that out, but, uh, I can't even spot it on the camera now, oh, um, 
there. That looks like something. It's just swooping around. It looks like a bird of prey. It's definitely got like a brownish sort of colour to it. Where's it gone? There it is. What is it? What is it? No idea. It's coming up. Hmm. Interesting. It is quite big actually. It's hard to tell. I can't keep track of it. Hmm. It's an aeroplane. I've, surprisingly, I've never actually been or knew which peak it was, but I've always been on that side, so that's the top of Cat Bells. And I've always wanted to look for um, Scarfell, which is the, if you didn't know, it's the highest peak in England at about uh, 980 metres or something, I'm guessing. I know it's over in that direction, over there, I'm guessing that's it there. Looks, um, looks quite rugged, because I know it is meant to be, so. There you go, that's an interesting little fact. Uh, there is roundabout near the, ed the end of uh, Daywind Water. That's where I'm hoping to go. I don't know if you can see a little red, little red something. Just there. I'm guessing that's from camp and it's not a bad spot actually. Might have to copy them. I've just turned my music off because I don't want to scare the little sheepies. Because I don't hear me. I heard Billy Joe screaming out loud. It's not a Duna runner. They think they can get away from us, but they can't. That's my tea for tonight. That little baby lamb. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. It wouldn't be, in a, it wouldn't be a Lake District video without a few sheepies. So here we are. There they are. Hello, sheepies. So I thought I didn't have a clue where I was going before, but um, I know where I'm going now. So you see that little that little river there? It actually looks like it's really low, but um, if I zoom in, there's like a bridge just about there. That's where I'm going. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping to have a little break, dip my feet in, get washed, and then I'll go through to camp. But um, there's a bloke, just spot the red there. Someone camping up there, the view's absolutely gorgeous. I think he's uh, took the good spot. But I don't know, it would be really nice to come somewhere up here. But then I'd have to, I need to get washed really, so I'd have to go down there and then come back up, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway, I shall continue. Goodbye. made a video here a few months back four or five months ago maybe uh, all this path here was all flooded right up right up to that gate and I had to come through with uh, soaking my shoes but it looks like the river's really low uh, it's really hot so I'm thinking there's quite a few people there so I think I'm just going to chill out there for maybe an hour 
Um, read my book, maybe. Uh, possibly go on the water because I'm pretty hot and sweaty. So I'm have a little watch. And a chill out, so I probably won't record that, but I'll, uh, I might go up Cat Bells and camp up up there somewhere. Maybe. See? See what we'll go. Hello. Hello, sheepy. Oi. Say hello. No little sheepies. Oh, that's so cute one. Goodbye. Now we came for a little visit. Apparently. Goodbye. Oh, one's popping its head. Go and see. Let's go and see. Ooh. I'll just flip the camera around. This is where I am. Hair look. My hair is a mess. I'm feeling um feeling a lot more fresh at the minute. I've uh, just had a little not really a dip, I put my legs in. It's actually like rivers here. Um but which I'm still on is usually all underwater. Um there's a sheep. It's usually a lot of sheep in the background. Yeah, yeah, the water's a lot, usually a lot higher up, but I only went up to like it only went up to like my ankles. Um but I washed my face and stuff so I feel a lot better. I've just had some food. I've got this, this nice little spot to myself. It's lovely. Oh, little, little plan, surprisingly. Uh, everything's been pretty spontaneous so far. Thinking of going somewhere up here, up to the top of Cat Bells. Hopefully, set my tent up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, so yeah, set my tent up. Uh, hopefully catch the sunset, that would be lovely. And I'd like to see the sunrise in the morning, but that'll be really early at the top of Cat Bells. That'll be really nice. So the sun should come like over here somewhere, like northeast-ish. So it should come through that gap, hopefully. Um, so that should be really nice. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to give myself like an hour to get to the top of Cat Bells, I think. So I'll try and do that quite quick, but I feel fresh. So that's good. So we shall see. Goodbye. Right, so we have a dilemma. Um, sunset is at 9.39. I thought it was going to be around 10. It's currently 5 past 9. Ignore the bloody midges everywhere. <clears throat> so, I kind of wanted to see the sunrise from the top. Oh, there's midges everywhere. I've covered my mouth. Um, I wanted to see the sunrise at the top. So I think what I'm going to do... Well, I've got 35 minutes to get up there basically if I want to see the sunset. Let's bring on bring on the challenge. I'll see how see how I do. So this is what having no map does for you. I am climbing up. This isn't a path, this is a bloody don't know what it's called. There'd usually be a stream. Going down here, I think the road just connects up along there, so I'm up and I'll get onto a proper path after this. There you go. And I thought I was gonna be all clean for going to bed. <clears throat> but I'm sweating again. I think I uh, want to say I'm going to do something I always underestimate it. Um, I've got a lot to climb. I've probably got like 350 metres to climb. So it should be fun. Adios. Now look at that again. Look. Sweaty mess again. So I made it up to the top. Um, I underestimated it massively. I actually came up pretty quick. I, um, I thought I was about halfway up. And I just ended up, uh, turned my music up and I thought, you know what, fuck it. So I started running. Then I was at the top. So the top is just over there. The sun's pretty much down, but obviously I'm up a mountain. So um, I, originally I thought I wouldn't set my tent up near the top of a peak you're not really meant, well you're not allowed to wild camp anyway, but you're not really meant to do it around main walkways and people or sheep. But okay, I am knackered, it's near 10 o'clock. I'll be getting up early, maybe for sunrise. So you know what, I might just, I might just set up here and then go up to the top and read my book for a bit. That's the plan, we'll see. Just winging it, little sheepies had enough. They don't like, don't like the vlog. Bye, sheepies.
Right, so, everybody, there is good news. There's lots of sheep. You know, we're like the sheepies. Great view. That's David Moore and there's Gizek. There's Blencather. Blencather. There's the top cat bells and there is my tent. Now, I know this is a very uh, questionable place to put a tent. But I'm absolutely knackered. I can't be able to find anywhere. I'm probably going to set off early, so why not? And you know what? I'm actually quite excited. It took, um, it was a lot less of a fuss than I thought. I tried setting it up in the garden yesterday, but it only took me 10 minutes. Um, the thing is, the ground is so tough that the pegs hardly go in. And usually it's actually quite windy up here, but there's no wind whatsoever. Uh, just hard, hardly budge, but you know, it's a candy little tent. It's nice. And the sheep everywhere, so I probably won't sleep for the sheep. But you know what? I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go up there, take my book, have a little chill out, brush my teeth, and then come down and go to sleep. I am actually pretty excited. I'm looking forward to this. So it is a little bit dark, but welcome to my home for the night. So that zips. Um I mean it's pretty dark, I didn't you think of that, and the light's coming from the other side. Um, yeah, you can't see a thing. But look, there's a little sheepies. There's a little sheepies coming. There's an army of them. I think they're going to storm us in the middle of the night. But yeah, sheepies. So I'm, I never really thought about them. Look at that. I'm not bad. Like, they might be after some food. That's so cute. Oh, I'm going to tell out of breath. Look at that, man. That's absolutely gorgeous. Apologies for the heavy breathing. Everything's kind of, uh, like all the mountains are like silhouetted almost. It's so nice, man. The thing is, I've uh, left my tent in my bag and it's absolutely crazy. I feel like so fresh. Because obviously I've had like, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 kilos on my back. It doesn't load. But, um, after taking that bag off, I just started running up. It was so easy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a little bit tired. It was a little bit, the top's a little bit further than I thought it was, but. Oh, look at that, man. Can't imagine how nice it would have been to be up here for actual sunset. But my plan is to come up here for sunrise. It should come up just over there. So I'm going to sit up here for five, or well, probably 20, 30 minutes, actually, why not? Nobody else here. Enjoy it. I've read my book. That's the plan. Look. Look, I'm in the tent. Um, I've just had, I've just brushed my teeth. I've just had a little bit extra to eat. Sort of my bag out. I don't have a clue what I'm doing really. Um, but I don't have a pillow. I also don't have a sleeping bag. Too much weight. Too much space. Oh my God. I'm thinking of using my sweaty towel as a pillow. Um, yeah, it's about quarter to twelve, half eleven. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along. So, yeah, alarm is four o'clock. So, hopefully, wake up for sunrise. That should be lovely. Hopefully, it's a nice sun sunrise. We shall see. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. Goodbye. Hello, hello, hello. So, I'm at the top of Cat Bells right now. Um, I did not sleep well at all. So basically, I don't. <laughs> I didn't bother bringing a sleeping bag. I didn't bother bringing a mat. I just thought I'll, I'll be sleeping on grass. That'll be fine, but the ground's pretty tough. So that was quite uncomfortable. Um, it also got pretty cold about... Uh, I think I must have got to sleep about half twelve. I woke up about 20 past one, freezing. Um, for some reason I woke up and ate Skittles, I don't know why, I just had to rearrange my whole bag to get my jacket out of the bottom, so I put, put an extra pair of shorts on, an extra pair of socks on, put this jacket on, um, was still cold, woke up again not long ago, about 20, 25 minutes ago, so I thought, you know, I may as well just get up because it, it was pretty cold. It wasn't awful, but like too cold to sleep, and my body's pretty tight and 
hurt just with the stiffness and stuff. Um, I had a peek outside my tent at about two in the morning. Of stars outside, so that was lovely. I was half considering getting up, but um, the only thing is, I think when you're up, when you're up here, as the sun starts to rise so early, with being higher up, I'm guessing if that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm guessing it's brighter than when it would be down there. I don't know. Unless it just, I don't know. It does just brighten up really early anyway. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so pretty tired I, it's kind of put me off staying another night I don't really know because realistically I need something and also my bag's just full of crap like it's full of empty bottles and, and I don't know it's a bit of a pain because every time I want to get something it's like there's just stuff everywhere um, so I'm not sure what I'll do I'm thinking let the sun rise hopefully try and get a time lapse watch the sun rise that's great, my alarm just went off and stopped the video. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, well this was the time I was meant to be getting up, but I'm awake anyway. Um, so yeah, see what happens, but I'm up. I can't wait for the sun to get up to be honest and warm me up a bit because like I'm just I just feel cold and a bit horrible. Um, so I'll just sunrise. If it's warmer, I might try and go back to sleep for like an hour or two, but honestly, it's not as much pain, so I'll probably just pack the tent away. Maybe head towards Kazakh, I'm not sure. I don't know, I'll just see, because I did kind of want to go somewhere else, but I don't really want to be going somewhere unfamiliar. And I'm just going to have the same experience somewhere else where I can't really sleep and it's too cold. Uh, I didn't even bring joggers or anything, so I can't even, I just, I just can't really sleep, I don't think it's probably too cold. So I might go home, I don't know, I'll see, I might buy like a blanket, but I may as well also like enjoy the sun tomorrow because it's going to be nice again, so yeah, we shall see, hopefully cue the nice sunrise. So I think it is about time to say goodbye to my lovely little tent. Um, what time is it? It's about half six, quarter past six. Um, I think after last night I'm a bit put off staying another night to be honest. So I think I'm just going to go walk back to Keswick. Uh, it's meant to be nice again today. It's, the clouds have just kind of came out of nowhere actually. It was clear skies all night, all yesterday uh, and a sunrise. So, uh, I think they, sh they should clear, it's meant to be sunny again, so I think I might, um, I might stay in Keswick while it's sunny, I might go to Weatherspoons, my little spoons, um, yeah, and then I might go home, to be fair, because, uh, I only got about two hours sleep last night, and it was a bit, uh, mm. I think I need to buy a sleeping bag, or some, something to wrap myself in, when I go to sleep, because the ground's pretty, pretty tough. Near it, but um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put the tent away. Keep the time lapse. Now, guess what, guess what, guess what? I pack the tent all up in one go. That means I am a pro and you should subscribe. See what I've done there? It's very sneaky. But um, no, I was actually... Like, I think the thing which I was dreading the most um, was packing the tent back up because I'm all... I, like, I don't have the patience for rolling stuff up and fitting it into things and 
I don't really, uh, I'm not really that way inclined, but um, I don't know, I guess to put kind of a message behind it. Um, when I first came up with the idea of Wild Camp in the Lakes, um, it was obviously quite intimidating. I've never done it before. Uh, I wild camped with one of my mates in Scotland uh, a few weeks ago. Um, you'll know if you watch that video. Um, but that was with somebody, so this is my first time doing it on my own. Uh, a different tent as well. Um, but obviously there's so many instant fears. Uh, what's the tent going to be like? What's it going to be like sleeping in the tent? What's it like going to be like doing it on my own? Am I going to get lonely? Am I going to forget something? What am I going to do for food? Like, There's so many millions of questions. Um, but... You know, there's like an unlimited amount of barriers which you could just throw in front of yourself. But I think the main thing is just to um, just go with the flow. I think that's what I've done this time is I've just I've just packed my stuff up and left and went. I think is uh, the main thing. So yeah, if there's things which you're making excuses for, or is finding fears or reasons, um, it's more than likely that things which could be quite easily overcome by acting rather than procrastination um so one of the main ways of pushing past your fears i think is actually just doing things uh because sometimes you can think you're doing things but all you're actually doing is thinking you're procrastinating sometimes the best thing to do is just to trick yourself in the deep end so there you go that's a little uh little pet talk for you and i am going to weather speak So cute, man. Are you having a little nap? You usually run away so quick. It's a bit strange, right? It's just stay in there. Goodbye. My friend. Uh, so, <clears throat> it's been one of those uh, dreaded walks. Dreaded walk back. Um, Obviously, I've only had like two and a half hours sleep, so I'm pretty knackered. Um, but I don't know what it is, but I think... I don't know, I don't know if I've done too much walking, but I just kind of get a bit fed up. Uh, my feet hurt and stuff, and I'm tired, so... I think I could probably just do a chilling out somewhere and then see how I feel. But I'll probably go home soon, but... All the clouds have passed already. Looks lovely. Sun's out, it is quite hot. I think it's just um, having a big bark and stuff as well it makes it a lot more tiring. So I'm gonna head into Keswick now. Um, maybe go to the shop, get some more water and stuff. Um, I might go to Spoons. In a couple of hours, I might just chat out somewhere for a bit, so. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the adventure and the lovely views. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't hesitate to leave me a comment for more videos like this. I would really appreciate it, and it lets me know that you enjoyed it, so I can make some more similar. Hopefully next time I can fit a blanket uh, to sleep with so I can stay more than one night. It was pretty chilly, as you can imagine. Um, so yeah, hopefully next time I can do less walking, more relaxing, uh, and stay for a couple of nights, hopefully. Thank you.